Okay, today we're going to be looking, I'm working in uh, the Bash shell here on my Linux machine, and we're going to be looking at splitting strings uh, based on spaces uh, into separate variables. So here's an example. Let's say I create a variable called my var, and I said the variable, I said it to this is a test. And I can, of course, echo out my var, and it says this is a test. Using the set command, I can say set space dash dash and the name of my variable dollar sign my var. Now, if I echo dollar sign one, two, three, and four, you can see that it split each of those variables, that string into each of those variables. So how is this useful? Well, let's look at some examples. Let's look at other ways to do something real quick. So if I if config, I can see my network information. Let's say I want my IP address here. I could do something like, <clears throat> excuse me, I have config, I can grep for init, and then I can pipe that into head dash and one, uh, just to make sure I'm just grabbing the first uh, instance of that. I could also say which uh, network card I want, but right now I'm just gonna head and one. I'm gonna say cut dash D and space space dash 10. So there's two spaces here. So we're saying the delimiter is a space and then I want uh, column 10 based on that. And I get my IP address, my local IP address, uh, which is great. Uh, and actually, actually it'd probably be better because it's a little confusing having that space space there. Another option would be to use awk. I can say awk print dollar sign two saying column two here. So there we go, it gets me the same result. It's just a little bit clearer than so someone might not see those two spaces there if they were looking at this command. Okay, so that's great. Uh, and I can pipe that into a variable. So if I wanted to set my IP uh, to a variable called IP, I can say IP equals inside quotations, dollar sign inside parentheses. Now anytime time I echo dollar sign IP, I have my IP address. And I can do the same if I wanted the net mask. I can say, I'll just do NM for net mask and that's column four. And now I can echo dollar sign nm, and I have my net mask. And then I can do the same thing if I want my uh, broadcast IP. So I can say six, and here I'll just say bc. Oh, well, I'm gonna call it bc. That, that doesn't matter. There's a command called bc on it. And that's that doesn't matter. Okay, echo dollar sign bc, and you can see I now have that. So if we, again, if we if config, whoops config, you can see that we have cut this this IP, this IP, and our broadcast IP here. That works, but can we simplify that using what we've learned with the set command? And we can, very simply. So what we can do is, just like before, we can say set dash dash, and then before we gave it a string. So that string can be an output of a command. So basically, let's look at this command. We're going to do our if config command here, like this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to say head one, which just gives us that line. And with a set command, we can now split things up based on numbers. Um, so what I can do is just this. I'll put that inside parentheses and I'll say set dash dash dollar sign parentheses. So we're going to run that command, which gives us this output and sets going to set variables for each of those for us. Now, if I want my IP address, I can just say echo dollar sign two. If I want my net mask, I can say dollar sign four. And if I want my broadcast, I can say six. So with this one command, I quickly created three variables. They're not well labeled variables, uh, but it is very simple to do. Now, one thing you don't want to do, and I, I like to usually put things like this in quotation marks so it holds it together. And most times that's good, but if we do that now, uh, I believe it messes things up. Yeah. As you can see, I can only do echo one and it's all that entire string because it kind of put it all together. Anyway, again, so just the set without these quotations. So set dash dash and our command there. And now I can echo dollar sign two, uh, four and six for this example. So again, this one command 
was a bit quicker than running our three other commands, which were this command, this command, and this command. We replaced those three, running those three with one command using the set command. So I hope you do find that useful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoy all my tutorials. Sure, check them out at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris Decay. There's a link in the description of the video uh, to my website. And there you can search through all my videos from both my channels. I have thousands of, of videos, thousands of tutorials, many of them on the Linux shell. Be sure to check them out. And if you enjoy them, if you enjoy my videos in general, think about supporting patreon.com forward slash melx1000. Link in the description of the video. You can also support me through PayPal. There's a link on my website to that. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope you share, like, share, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff helps out a lot. And I hope that you have a great day.